Right, welcome back to this week's build. Right, so I want to start by saying um, a massive welcome uh, to all my new subscribers and thanks to my old subscribers for sticking around. Um, the channel's starting to grow now, so I'm really happy. Uh, right, let's get on to this week's build. Right, so way back 20 plus years ago, I know I don't look that old, but I am. Anyway, uh, way before all this um, recycling, upcycling, repurposing, all that sort of stuff kind of took off. Um, I was making things out of pallets from industrial estates and stuff like You go to industrial estate now, you can't get pallets. Well, it's really hard to because everyone wants them. Um, and you, Back then, you didn't really have many of those programs that were, were upcycling. Um, so it was quite, kind of easy to get hold of pallets. <laughs> uh, so since then, everybody's doing it. And people are making some really wonderful um, projects for their home and garden out of pallet wood. I mean, let's face it, pallet wood is usually pine. Um, sometimes you do get some nice hardwood. I've been out and picked a load today and two of the pallets on my trailer were um, were hardwood, so I'm going to make some out of those. I can't, I can't see them um, being left outside to rot away or being mulched up for paper you know that sort of thing anyway so what I'm going to do today I'm going to show you how simple it is to reuse this pallet into um, something that's functionable for the garden and what it's going to be is a small um, bench now it's one pallet on its own I've got two um, I think it's two by three uh, lengths of timber to make the legs and that is it it is so simple so if you've got the very basic of hand tools there is and well you can do it in your garden there is no reason why you can't make yourself a, um, a recycled pallet bench right shall we get to it Right, so I'm probably not going to put any music to this um, this video because I really want you to understand how simple this is uh, and you can kind of follow it um, step by step. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to work out uh, how much we want to cut off for our back sizes. <laughs> Right, we'll start that again, shall we? <laughs> so all we're doing is we're going to work out now um, how much room we need to sit our backsides down, um, and then the the rest of it that you cut off the top is going to be the backrest. Right, so. So we can't really. Um, we can't really assume these slats have been on square, been put on square. So what we're going to do is just measure from the front to the back. See that's 16 and a half inches. That's 17. So we're going to pull this one off so we get out the right measurement at the back. So what I've done here is I've marked off 
21 inches. Have I? 21. 21 inches because what I want to do is this part, the back rest, is going to be coming up. You'll see when I get to it. So you don't need one of these, you can do this with a handsaw. Um, it probably would be easier to do with a handsaw to be honest. Yeah, let's do it. Right, so you can kind of, uh, you can imagine what it's going to look like now. Right, next step. We're, we're going to remove this slat here, because what we want to do is place it Place it on top of the other slats that are running this way. We want to get our angle that we're comfortable with. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to take this slat off and then I'm going to transfer this angle onto the back piece of wood. Okay. Right, to get this angle so if you can see that, if I tilt it back, that's about the angle that we want this to, to go, which is comfortable. Um, any more, if it's like uh, a 90 degree, then it'd be like sitting on the, the bench of an old um, minibus. Uh, we've probably all been there when we were youngsters. But anyway, it wasn't comfortable. But if we have it too far of an angle, then you'll slide off the front of the bench. So what I'm going to do is just explain to you the easiest way of doing this. Now, this is a Swanson Speed Square, or I've got a sliding bevel. Um, most good um, hand saws, you'll have your 90 degree there, and your 45 degree there, so you can use this 90 if you like. Um, what I'll do is I'll use, the, I'll use the bevel. So I've got my 90 degree, there. All I'm going to do is draw a straight line on top of this. Found a decent pencil. And you can't get any simpler. So I'm going to hold that so it's level there. I'm going to tilt my bench to where I'm happy with it. Yeah. which I think about there will be fine. All I'm going to do is transfer my square onto there. Now you can see how much I've got to cut off it. Like I say, you can make a template of this, cardboard template, if you haven't got a sliding bevel. If you have, it's really easy. You just literally
There you go, that's my angle. So I'm going to transfer that now using the top as my stop point. And then we have it. Right. <clears throat> so, I've got the timber for my legs. This is really straightforward. All I'm going to do is I'm going to work out the height that I want the seat to be. Everybody's different, so for you, um, sit on a chair and measure what's comfortable from um, underneath your thighs to the floor, uh, and, and you'll get a, an idea of, uh, of what to make these. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the back legs um, to the backrest and to the bottom of this. Like I said, you don't need to be a carpenter. This is a real easy, simple um, bench. It's not going to look really pretty unless you put the work into it, so a lot of sand in. You, you could, if you wanted to, um, cover it with foam and then fabric just to hide all this wood. But for me, this is just a bench that's going to be stuck out the front garden um, that I can sit on to watch Thomas down the road to school. That's about it. So, anyway, so we're going to want to cut these. So we've got our 18 inches, which is the uh, the leg at the bottom of this runner. Sorry, the top of this runner. And then we want to come up to, I'd say about there, another 10 inches. So 28 inches. So we need two at 18 inches for the front. Right, so next step we're going to uh, screw the legs on. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, I'm up that one up. I've got this leg the wrong way around. <laughs> Don't look that bad, does it really? Because it was a pallet. Um, now it's really important. I mean, you can't leave these legs like this. You need to uh, put a strut across the side and then across the front. Otherwise, you'll get a lot of wobble. Um, so next thing, I wasted a bit of time mucking about with that back leg because I put it on the wrong way around. I've sorted that now. So. Ooh. So we've got to screw through now and support the back, secure the back. Right, so next step, um, we need to make some supports for the sides. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to measure from the back of the back leg to the front, which here, which is 20 and a half. Now if we transfer that 20 and a half across here, then we'll make sure everything's square. good idea is to block it up because we don't really want this sitting on the ground because it's going to trap water and it's going to rot away. Right, so nearly there, we need a measurement from the, the front of it, which is 37 and a half, and then we're going to transfer that down to that strut there that's going to keep things from moving. Right, so we've put the slap back on that we took earlier on because we don't want a nasty big hole there, do we? And the first slap we took off, we're going to put on the front here now.
Right, the only thing left to do now is give it all a good, a good sand um, and then it'll be done. You know what? I think I'm gonna call that done. It's nothing special. No one's gonna get splits from it. Um, I may paint it, I don't know. At the end of the day, it's gonna do what it's meant to do, which is let people sit down. Right, so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you really um, have learned something and you maybe wanna have a go at it. Uh, recycle the palette save it going into landfill or um, or to making paper or something probably not the prettiest but that's up to you finish it nicely stain it paint it make it your own um, and it'll last for years anyway thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next build